punch. You didn't get to know what was going on in the world from 1555 to about... I want to say 1865, but they they was oppressing you from really figuring out what was going on all the way up to pretty much 1965. You could get out if you knew how to get out, but it wasn't... If that was the case, then why was Nobu Ali able to come back and come to a, 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 a whole East Coast and nobody had knowledge of self? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole 1913 and he done went all the way overseas and came back. Nobody don't know shit yet. That means they was keeping you from getting out and studying and doing things. He was still oppressing you. Or Nobuji Ali wouldn't have been doing what he was doing. Mm-hmm. And then the next, and then at the same time, that's 1913. Now you remember Nobuji Ali is born in the wilderness in North America. But W.D. Farad hits the shores of North America in 1910. But he's not born here. He has to start from scratch to find one from among us. So from 1910 to 1930, he taught trying to find one from among us that he was going to pass that baton to. He found Elijah. He passed it to Elijah. That's when... The virus actually starts. The virus and the Trojan horse of knowledge itself inside the wilderness of North America starts when those two people make the moves that they made. That's why everybody tie it back to Noble Drew Ali and W.D. Farad. If you're on this side, of course, Cherry and the people tie, that's the Hebrew people. They tie that to him. Because Cherry was like one of the first people in the wilderness of North America that was lamb's wool that taught the Hebrew way. Of course, people in back of him perfected it like Kamasi and all them. But, yeah. Um, but in them days, he was the old school, just like Prince Hall was the old school that brought knowledge of self in the form of masonry, which makes people who have knowledge of self go, eh. <laughs> right, if you, if you in the, you know, you got last world and you know, you know what I mean when I go, you see what I'm saying? Like, he gave it to him, but, nah, I ain't, I don't, man, it was still tainted, it was mixed, diluted, it was still European based, he was asking them for, he was still doing that, right. So, but he did. Yeah, Yeah, but I think he was, I think that's where he was at, I don't think he tried to give him less than what he knew. I think he gave him what he knew because that's what he did. He went all the way over there to get rights. And and in those days, we usually would go to the European to see if he sanctioned anything we say we wanted to do. And if he did, then we could do it. Mm-hmm. That was that era. But the era of WD and, e and, and, and Noble is not sanctioned by the devil. So if you look at that seven that Noble Drew Ali has, it's cracked open. He cracked it open. You can see the north, south, east, and west have open spaces. So, but if it closes, if you, if you look at it in 3D, it opens and closes. Opens and closes. Right? It would be, it could breathe. It would be breathing. That seven is breathing. So it breathes out and it opens up and you see all the north, south, east, west openings and then it contracts and it closes. Open, close, open. They ain't seeing that because they're not picking it. They're looking at it as flat. They're not picking it up and letting it go into reality like today's world. Like now, nothing is flat in the universe. Nothing. <laughs> it doesn't even have lines that are... Nothing in the universe is in straight lines. Only people could do that. Mm-hmm. 
sentient beings can walk in a straight line, but nature throughout is like autonomic. Those beings are alive too in nature, but they're on the autonomic frequency. And if they're on the autonomic frequency, they move like a wave and things like that. Water, they move that way, waves. Um, of the vortex, you know the vortex, it's spinning. The vortex is there even if the planet isn't there. Yeah, the, yeah, the vortex is first, and then it brings everything around it, right? Um, that kind of world. They don't see that, but we have the plus degrees. We know that. And so if you weren't tainted by the Europeans' concept of the universe, his concepts are different than the original man's concepts. Mm-hmm. His concepts fit him. Like, he, like the prophet said, his earthly salvation, you need something for your divine salvation. And so he chose to give us Islam. Mm-hmm. So did W.D. Farad used Islam. It's just not, it's freer. It's not like the Christian world. So even though the Orthodox Muslims want to make it like the Christian world, that's why they was castrating us and, and putting us on their on their slave ships and whatever the fuck. Because they, dude, everybody was coming for us. If we use, if we look at the religious base of who's running these these religions in today's world, the Christians, the Jews, and the Muslims, and all three of them was enslaving the Lamb's War. What are you talking about? We all know that. They all was doing it. They all did it. And they were all doing it. They're in... They're, just because you ain't at the pole getting whooped now, but your landlord this, that. See, listen to the names they're using. Landlord, tenant. Landlord. <laughs> You're the tenant. Mm-hmm. You got to understand the second degree. See, the second, that's why they be saying 120 is too raw. Because the second degree in the 1 to 10 is the one they don't want to hear. That's the one that... You, they, it was a time they would put you in matter one in the crazy house for just saying the first degree in the one to ten. <laughs> you didn't even get, so usually the first degree and the second degree go hand in hand, and that's how you get that understanding, because if you know and understand who the first degree and the second degree, you get an understanding right there. It's an understanding. Once you know that for real, and you go, all right, this is absolutely the truth. First degree in the one to ten. Who's the original man? Boom. That is absolutely without a shadow of a doubt. So how could the first degree absolute and the second degree ain't? She. You better ask somebody. I don't care if things are in gray. Yes. Truth and falsehood strangely mixed in these modern days and this, that, and the third. And uh, uh, uh. Yes, that is an actual fact. But still, go by the lesson, because it'll take you all the way through. Sure, you're going to make some... Okay. It'd be better for you to not trust the devil, whether he's the, the one that work for Allah or the one that work for Satan. It'd be better to not trust any of them than to trust some and be trusting the wrong one. Yes, indeed. Indeed so. Because you don't know which one is right one and which one is the wrong one. You don't. Even when you know the first degree and the, and the second degree, because by the time it leaves the paper and goes in your brain and we hit this world, it's the truth and falsehood strangely mixed. See, that means, that's why he said, you got to watch the your people too. You got to see... I got said, man, just because he quote 120 now, don't be thinking that. Mm-hmm. That puts him right there with right and exact. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Everybody's subject to be shown and proved. Now, everything is subject to be shown and proved. Everything is, is to be examined. No one is above the examination. Yep. 
There's no little U's and big I's and big I's and little there ain't none of that. Right? That's not how it's taught. Um, Cause we the original man in the wilderness in North America and we've been mixed and mi- mixed. We've been mixed, diluted, and tampered with. We not holy. A law three sixty, that wasn't that firstborn prince quotes. That a law three sixty, that one. Uh that would repair us. That would repair the whole nation, the whole lamb's wool from Alaska to Chile. It would repair the whole lamb's wool. So, it would. And, that, and so, by you won't have the same access to a law 360 inside of a structured order. You see how a, the, the law, a law made... Um, the five percent. The degree is structured. The lessons are structured, but the order itself. You could go and come. There's no dues. There's no little you, big eye. There's no head and all this. We got elders. Yeah, they've been in the nation longer. They've seen the father, but everybody is God, and everybody is earth. Yeah, right, it ain't nothing everybody but Everybody come and go as, as, as seen fit Yeah, we don't say When I come into the rally And the rally is there And you say, peace That's what we say If you open up, you say, peace And then inside of the conversation You know I'm talking to the gods and the earth Indeed Right And the gods and the earth fit right inside of who is the 5%. Uh It fits right in. And Allah said, these are my 5%. And when you, we was telling people, in those days especially, they couldn't understand if you would have said, I'm the God and this is the earth. So a lot of times we would say, I'm 5%, we 5%ers. To the 85, we would say that to them so they could understand who we are. Because they couldn't, yeah, they couldn't get it right. So we would be like, no, we the 5%. We 5% is what, that's what we, we are, that. So they, that had been around enough that they was like, oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Y'all got the righteous names and you don't eat pork and like that. They knew then. They was like, okay. And then that's how... That's how I was there. It was that's what was going on? So that made us see it from that perspective. Mm-hmm. We read the labels. We was aiming towards being vegetarian, but it was hard enough not eating pork at, living at home with Christians. Because when you in Christianity, eating pork is part of being a Christian. Uh, yeah, that was that was a di- that was the norm. That was a daily appetite. Of just you know what I'm saying, living in underneath that household, right? Because Christianity, the ideology itself that is being taught in modern days and what everybody is using in America, pretty much, came from the colonizer, mm-hmm. and that's what he eat. He brought his diet with him. You didn't bring yours with you when he conquered you. Whether you was in the wilderness of North America from Alaska to Chile or whether you was in Africa or you was in Asia or you was in Australia. If if you had lamb's wool, if you didn't have lamb's wool but you had black or brown seed in you, he still came for your throat. You had to be European, Western, and not... See, the Eastern Europeans never really did what he on the west did they didn't move the same way you could see it in eastern orthodox and the, versus the roman catholic church how they each move different so the easiest way to understand the movements of the european if you're not a historian dealing with anthropology you're going to have to also study the oceans to and you don't want to get deep like that grab the three religions Islam, the Jews, and the Christians. 
So you got the Christians, the Jewish people, and you got the Muslims in America. And that was going on all the way across. Right? The Muslims got the oil and all of that. They holding down the desert. The Jews are like nomads. They finally got them a little piece of land. They want to call, they want to hold down like 1948. They grabbed that with the new regime from the UN. That's 1913 stuff. That's 1914 stuff. When it first starts having its effect. That's when the noble prophet comes up, like 1913, when it goes down. When they making their moves, the law was making his moves. And law ain't no mystery God. So it's 1913, here comes the noble prophet banging him. And, he, and then behind the shadows, WD already had been there three years. Right? He, he'd already been there watching, making moves, seeing. He says, oh, see how law worked? The necessity of the vacuum. That's why the harbinger had been doing what he was doing. He was staring up them nations, boy. Uh, the, the Marcus Garvey. He was doing his thing. Uh-huh. Right? He was getting them ready for knowledge itself, putting it on them. That's why you got all that Pan-African, all that come out of that, right? Uh, If if Marcus Garvey, W.D., and Noble Drew don't make those moves, you don't see those after effects of these other groups coming. Of course, like I always do, I give Cherry and his boy and... and, and, um, Prince Hall, their prize, but their side went more with the Christians trying to help them kind of be Christians but be better Christians. Right. But the other side was rejecting the colonizers' teachings altogether. Because a lot of the other Hebrews. They, well, most of the ones in the wilderness of North America, they still using King James Version of the Bible. But with, yeah, of course. But, right, because that's the most prominent book, but it's still short. Now, you see the Hebrew nations, they'll caught on, and they started using the Ethiopian. Well, first they started using... Uh, Remember the Hebrew Israelites, the ones that Yahweh been Yahweh. They were using yeah, their, yeah, yeah. They was using his book, right? Mm-hmm. And then they advanced themselves and went into the Ethiopian Bible. That's the real one. So the Ethiopian Bible is, they don't have a Bible on earth older than that one. And they don't have one on earth that has the compilations older than that one. The only thing older than that is if you take the, those books out and say what they really were when they were just a book by themselves. Yeah, right. That's the only thing that can make it older than that. You get those. That's you got to start going into Kemet and uh, Sumner and... Um, that's when you start reading about the Anunnaki and the mm. constellations and the yeah, because you gotta separate, you gotta separate them and just show to officially and and how old they would be. But if you have more together, you don't you don't really know. Well, you know how old they are together when they were all brought together. When whoever brought those books together. Um, that's how old it is because somebody compiled it. But it was right. easy to compile that kind of information before Yaku. Mm-hmm. Because nobody was running around burning up libraries. They might be fucking you up. <laughs> but they was asked to destroy the actual. <laughs> right, they'll be rape, murder, pillage, mayhem. Uh, that's what they mean when they say they're effing you up. That's murder, mostly. Murder and rape and murder and mayhem and nothing's worse than they raping your woman and murdering you to the structure of the family. Mm-hmm. 
take the children and enslave them, put the woman in prostitution. That's what they did. They take the children and absorb them into their culture because now they got to add that genetic code into theirs, but they get to program the whole program. Right, they get to program the child because they have it as a child's food. They got rid of the parents. The European did that to the wilderness of North America. Did it to us from 1555 all the way to 1865. That's the part they don't be catching. So from 1555 to 1865, the colonizer did any and everything that he wanted to do with his narcissistic mindset. Man, you can't even think of, your mind doesn't have those kind of neurons and receptors to even think of some of the evil that he did. You couldn't think of it on your own. You have to, somebody has to show you that. But he's thinking of it on his own. The same way you creative and think of a good dance and how to make and build and how you look at a hammer and you want to build with it, he looks at a hammer and says how he can kill with it. See? Mm -hmm. You see a fork, you want to make a big fork and use it to till the earth and a little fork to pick up food and he wants to make a pitchfork to stab you with it. Stab your ass. <laughs> you gotta learn how to fight with a giant pitchfork. <laughs> what? What the hell wrong with y'all? Everything with this cat is kill, kill, kill. Yep. All the way killer. All the way. Yeah. And so... Uh, I would think that the earth, the people of the earth, I only use black and brown words because that's what they understand, but we really not black and brown. We really people on earth, earthlings. Mm -hmm. We got a DNA structure. We got melanin, carbon, ah, 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 right? You get all deep in it. But in these modern days, the... European has put race inside of the psyche of the world. Yeah, so now, uh, so now that it's already uh, sewn in into your everyday uh, life, where it just it have to be recognized as either black or brown. Yeah, it is. It's there already. You can't get it out right now, but you have to recognize that when it got put in, because there was no such thing of that before the colonizers did that. That's the German um, universities, the monarch of France, and the monarch of England. That's when it went down, and then they, the Roman Catholic Church did the sanction. Sanctioning. It's in the records. You could go look up the who did it, and they did it. And then they made, and by them all four getting together, they made Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. And from there, they just progress from there till you get to black, brown, red, yellow, white. That's, that's how it went. All right. And so, uh, and so even though the people who they were trying to throw under the bus as yellow, that area is so diverse that they had to go and let it and be they call them Asians and stuff. They made them give not have that you color on theirs. Mm -hmm. Right, see they blocked it off. So you gotta call them all Asians because they consider and they got black, brown, red, yellow yeah. over there easily. Uh, they got all the shades right there for you in the whole Asia. Yeah, sixteen shades of black, sixteen shades of brown, you know what I'm saying? They got all that. Right, um, so they holding that down, so they made them take that off of them, like, but it's still on the books, Mongoloid. They still got them under the books of Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. The anthropologists still use it, and all of them still do it, and they still say Caucasoid. In anthropology, they still use it. 
So even though they don't, they the, the Europeans still connect themselves to Caucasoid. And they make the Lambs Wool tribes connect themselves to Negroid. Even though they want to call themselves in America black or they call themselves African American, the, the Lambs Wool does. But they're still basing it on this language and what's happening now and where they're at. Not saying, well, if I wasn't speaking English and this was 35,000 years ago, what did I call myself? See? Ain't not going there. But if they go there, when you make your psychic go there, it changes everything. That's what the European doesn't want. He doesn't want your psychic to go to the ancient culture creed and be that. He wants you to stay with the colonizer made you. He doesn't want you to elevate to the next level because if you do, you come out of this slumber that you're in. And it's a two-edged sword, just something simple like three-day fast. A three-day fast changes the economy because we're supposed to do it every 30 days. They're not eating one meal a day. Seven, if Just the nations, the nations themselves. See, that's why you, you lock them in. So just the nations. You got anybody that's connected to, go right to the root. Who's connected to WD and Nobu Juali and Marcus Garvey? Them three. Are you connected somewhere to them? And then if you go up, are you connected to Elijah Muhammad in somehow in those mm -hmm. eras? That's the next era. Because by then, they done killed everybody. And then, because you be going, well, what about all the rest of the other ones? They killed them or ran them out the country or went crazy on them. So there was plenty more that was just like those three, but who I don't know who they are because I'm, the European got at them. So the next hit is W is Elijah. And then after Elijah, you go into the 60s, you see what that is. You got the Panthers, you got. And all that comes after they wiped out that first hit of 60s, like Malcolm, Martin, and, and a law. Because that was them was the 60s part, the beginning. Then the Panthers and all them come because the vacuum is there. Yeah. That's right, there was the void. Yes. And so nature fills the vacuum with the next knowledge of self group trying to bring us back up again. That's all it's all about fallen Asiatics in the wilderness of North America and the world over because we don't see lands wool as us all being the same people. But we just crazy diverse. So when we see sixteen shades of black, eight shades of brown, eight shades of yellow, we don't know it's us. Right. And so we don't know our own self because he done separated us and called us Cuban, West Indian. Because uh, uh, if you look at your uh, passport, your passport says American on it. Yeah, that's true. It don't be saying nothing else. <laughs> sure don't. The nationality is based on the UN. They don't even know. They think a race. And a, they, I don't think they have a concept of there's a nationality. There's a made up thing called race. It's not real, but it's made up and it's in the psychic of the world. Yeah. And there's only earthlings, really. Nationality is still based on UN and this and a geographical location, but the bloodline is a better way of figuring out the people, the bloodline. You'll know who you are on your bloodline. But if you're saying, I'm not sophisticated, all lamb's wool is the root and the foundation. That's the foundation to the first degree in the one to 10. Mm -hmm. The triple darkness and the lamb's wool. Like that. They be jet black with man's wool. That's the root. And then 16 shades of that. And then six, eight shades of brown and eight shades of yellow. That's how it works. 
I didn't make this up. Look in the DNA. It's that. Unravel it. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. That, that's what I'm saying. So that manifestation in and of itself makes us like three and three people. Indeed, indeed, so. Uh, see, God, see, God, see. that's how they're able to separate us. My phone's about to, it's blinking and it's about to cut off. Indeed, peace, Lord, in the mind. Peace, Lord. Peace. Right, so we'll finish that degree up. Right, we'll uh, we'll take that lesson into the next um level, and we'll say that. That's why I was talking about a law of 360. I said, I didn't want to leave you with that. And then don't. That degree in the way a law taught uh, the three day fast on the opening. When you do those things to your physical composition, you start the process of taking the devil off your planet. You got to take him off a cell at a time. Even though you could do a bunch of cells at one time, when you do that fast, you're going to detox. When they telling you to do all this extra shit to get a detox, uh, that's not really real to get a detox. Do you want to detox? Just stop eating. As soon as you stop eating, you start detoxing because your 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 body will. S- digestion and then goes to absorption and then it starts to build and add on and use the product and then after it puts everything where it should be at and everything is being made manifest uh, and digestion is no longer needed and absorption is finished you go into that state of repair it's going to repair any damaged cells. That's why you want that balance. Up, down, up, down. You want to move like a wave, right? Um, you're going to flow. The flow. Remember I said that flow. King not cipher wisdom, Lord equality, divine God equality. Knowledge that. Wisdom, myself, divine, cipher, master. That flow, right? You want that flow. So as you traveling, and everything is taking itself to the next level, because that's exactly what's happening, right? When the devil saw that the original man was moving in the direction away from him and taking him off his planet, even when they were unconscious of what they were doing. And he ran up on Tulsa and all that. So even when we in our state of their ideology of religion, right, we'll be just straight one of them Christian religions. We'll be one of them and we'll be building and adding on and showing and proving because it's in our DNA to build, add on, show and prove. That's, it's inside of you. It's, it's already there. They just don't want it to come out. That's why they do shit to stop it. They have to stay on top of you hard to get you to stay where you at. They have to. Man, and don't think... See, don't get it twisted based on their race and you think black, brown, red, yellow, white is what they call it. It's not that. I'm talking about in you alone. There's 16 shades of black, 8 shades of brown, 8 shades of yellow. In the original people. The lamb's wool. Them. It's in that. In them, it's that. That's there. Right? All the other nations. Think about it. All the other nations. As a nation. Not as individual people in them. Who came over to our side and was helping us. And had us. Oh, we probably wouldn't have lasted this long. Uh, gotten some of the ideas we gotten and able to do some of the things we able to do. Because Mayor Lindsay didn't help the father on those levels to help his children. See? 
And so that's why I said when you look at the first degree and the second degree is absolute. But then when you get it off paper and you have to lift it off the paper and give it 3D and make it work and live and walk it like, like Dumas said, let this mathematic live, it wake it up. Give it water like you would a plant and make it have sunlight and it'll grow, right? So you take it from today, right? And then you make it manifest because you add on other seeds and make the whole forest right and exact. And it'll, it'll start, the fauna will bring everything else itself. You don't have to do it anymore. You just have to set it up. The same thing inside. You need to set it up. It'll start repairing and doing what it needs to do and everything will start working. But you need to set it off and keep feeding the plants or the fauna of your physical composition the same way we, you would the earth. They're the, they're the same. The physical composition is a motor vehicle life that you use to manifest in this physical plane of existence. You have to understand that the body and the planet are the same. When you're hurting her, you're hurting you. That's reality. So, how long can you live with plastic in your blood? Right, the water on the water is the blood of the planet, and the blood is being poisoned by who? So you're saying that the people are doing it, or is it the colonizer doing it? Is the colonizer poisoning the planet, or is the regular people doing it? There's the question: Is it the first degree in doing it, or is it the second degree doing it? Who's doing it? See? And when they do discovery, you know who's doing it. <laughs> right? We know who's doing it. So now we say, well, all right, now we know all that. We can go through all the nations. They all know what went down. We finally get to the children, and he can't even let them live. He going to pull their father in. And assassinate their father in 1969. So he assassinate those children's father in 69. And they don't stop. They keep teaching. And now that man who was there for biological became our, for lack of a better word, spiritual. Because we never physically met him. But we could see his work. Of course, if I whisper in your ear and it go around and come around from 1964 all the way to 2024, yeah, this, it ain't coming out the exact the same now. But if the... Well, this is what I noticed rather than put conjecture in. It's not exactly... Uh, as it was in 1964. It couldn't. It, it developed. Growth and development. If it ever stays the same, it'll die. That was what the, that's what the law said, right? So, I see that it grew through growth and development. Also, it adapted to the environment. It was children, and so they could adapt real quick to shit, quicker than adults want to get stiff and stuck and where they at. That's why they like, no, it's this, it's just this. We're just going to study this, and that's it. That's all we're going to do. Right? Uh, that's all I need. Mm-mm. But that ain't all I need. So I looked at the historical event and the historical event said all the animals on earth that were able to adapt to what the devil had control over and doing if you didn't adapt you probably ain't making it or you going down now and some of them adapted as much as they could it's getting to a breaking point the whole planet is going to a breaking point but she can handle extinction level events and bring the fauna right back <laughs> you <laughs> well you could be earthlings will be here but you could be like clovis in them you don't know about that right but just do some research on the clovis but you'll be coming out better if you're going to really study about 
that kind of anthropology and paleontology. If you're going to do that, I would suggest get with Dr. Clyde Winter's um, information. He's old now, but he got he has he has so many books on every subject you could think of in that particular field of study when you showing and proving the first degree in the one to ten. He's like an academia form of J.A. Rogers. Like, you can't and put them other guys in the middle, like Henry Clark and Ben. Put them two right there in the center of those two. Clyde on the top end, um, uh, J.A. Rogers on the beginning end. And then have Ben and Clark in your middle, especially with their speeches. And if you cross-reference their speeches with Malcolm X's speeches, you'll see Lamb's Wool is a very core. You'll see Carbon. All of these things that you are mad at. That's why you use Snuffleupagus eyes and you use... Uh, if the woman don't like her hair, then our whole nation don't like it without the subconsciously because she don't like it. She doesn't like her hair. She thinks that their hair is good hair and her hair is bad hair. So that just right there killed the whole shit. And and if you in this uh, rolling your R culture because you got conquistadors ruling your brain pattern or, pa- or, pa- or uh, um, Portuguese ruling your brain pattern, then you'll be thinking the opposite of what a law taught to go to, uh, he taught us to get at the knowledge seed, amalgamate down, amalgamate to the root, amalgamate to the lamb wool, go that way rather than go towards the European. If it looks more European, try to get with them. No, that's what they do to you. They make you say, oh, the closer you look to a European, the more beautiful you are. But the closer you go to uh, lamb's wool, the uglier you are. That's what they teach, and that's what we see it as, and we bear witness to that. And so that's what's making us twisted. That's the root of the twist. And then the food, they killing you with the food. They make your the next twist come because genetically bio, bio, um, your biome, your gut biome, they destroy it. They just keep going. There's, you have to take the devil off your planet. You have to be willing to understand the difference between synthetic food and food that came from mother, your mother, Gaia, the earth. Those are two different foods. You can't expect to have a healthy nation and you don't, the mothers don't breastfeed. They C-section. They don't have natural birth. They birth in their babies in hospitals with the devil. It is what it is. I know he ain't gonna like that one, but it slipped out. I wouldn't have said it that way, but it's already said live, and I'm not gonna do about it. Holla at me. Tell me it ain't true that you ba- you're birthing your baby in a hospital where everybody else is sick at. Why would a mother, given life, go to a place where only people that are sick at go? That's why they try to cut off the ward and all that. No. Get you a midwife. See, acknowledge yourself. We have a midwife and we have it at home. And we try to stay out the chamber of commerce at least until they have to function in society. We thought maybe it would fall, but they don't have to be in the, But they give you the false incentive of, we will give you a tax break. You put their name, we give them a number two. See, next thing you know, you didn't sell your children to the devil. You don't even know it. Anyway, y'all need the remedy. I'm trying to give you the remedy, but sometimes I got to bring it back. And I don't know. I would say, I say they said tries to fail. Well, shit, we failing then. Because the majority of the original people in the wilderness of North America believe in the Europeans' concept of what's going on. All the way around, the planet, sun, moon, stars, everything he said, they think that shit right and exactly what he's saying. 
That's why when even when I run in people that they don't bear witness to the true and living science of 120, they might not bear witness to that. They might even say something like, I met this brother, he, he's like, nah, man, ain't no... I think he was maybe... He didn't say flat world people, but he said he wasn't... He didn't believe in dinosaurs and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I can... I understand you don't bear with this dude anthropology, paleontology from the European. But don't say that out loud to everybody when if they could question you and you say you never been nowhere but where you been at like I only been in New York so you never went anywhere and seen what a fossil looks like that it's really stone but it's an imprint of something that was there right? you do realize that can happen easily but uh, go places first. Don't, cause devils said that too. See, that's, <laughs> that's what I don't. I be saying you need the first degree and the second degree when to turn the most important ones. Cause those flat world people, they're the devil. Look at their root. You telling me they ain't England? The colonizer. If we're gonna say who's the devil to? the Native Americans, it was the colonizer. If you was from Alaska to Chile, when them people from England came over here, you knew they was the devil. And you knew that the French was the devil because they came killing up people. If you was in Africa, the French Foreign Legion, that's the Foreign Legion, they came, you knew they was the devil. You think the Vietnamese thought that the French was angels? And then here come the Americans and back at them. China colonizer. It's just the European colonizer doing it. He's telling, he got a, he's their leader. The colonizer was their leader and they followed the European colonizer and they did what he said do. And those are the little Europeans that ain't really knowing what's going on, don't have any money. They're not rich. They're not running shit. But they're damn for sure doing what their leaders tell them to do. And so some of them are narcissistic and all kind of other crazy ass uh, psycho things that go into the psycho ward. And so they'll be uh, in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine. Now we got Space Army, Space Marines, Space Navy. Everybody want to be in space, right? <laughs> And I don't know what you call space, but space to some people ain't the same as other people, right? So we don't leave space where it's at, in space. But the point I was making was, they, they want to get off the cuff. That's what they do. They do so many things that throws you off the cuff. And so you're worried about this and that, and you're doing this and that, and it gets you off your center of what you was really all about doing what you was doing and you lose your focus but you're supposed to but if you have remedy that's why a lot prepare you with trade profession this that science history ah, ah, ah. so that you have what is called a remedy for anything that comes your way while you doing your mission if something tries to block you you would see it and you have a remedy immediately and even if you don't someone has it uh, someone has the remedy. Someone in the Lamb's World Nation has the remedy. Believe that. <clears throat> that you can take to the, as they used to say in the back of the day, you can take that to the bank. Well, I wouldn't take it to the bank if I was you. I would take it to the app. Because the banks, uh, boy, the banks are kind of failing. You don't think that they ain't falling apart. Man, this shit is... It's an illusion right now. We pretty much back at 1929 when everything fell. Everything fell. This time the stock didn't fall. But everything else is falling. You better get with them. They know what to hold up and what not. They making things fall on purpose. And the other stuff they keep them propped up. So you got to see what's propped up. And what's falling. And what's really foundational. Right? Nothing stronger than food, clothing, and shelter. If you connect your money to food, clothing, and shelter, you, you're going to be all right. That's a fact. 
right? Uh, the lessons say gold. So go buy gold. Don't buy jewelry. It didn't say jewelry. It said 12 jewels. It didn't say jewelry. You know what a jewel is versus a jewelry? Man, we want to go in a jury, right? I'm going to do carry by six of judge by 12, you know, nine and all that, right? Holla at me, them judges, right? So we're going to go with remedies. Remedies like no grain, no starch, no soy, no dairy, no sugar will definitely damage the devil and perfi- and fix you. Damage the devil's society and fix you. It do two things at once. Right. Fast every 28 days Try to deal with the cycle they Use the, the calendar So at the end of the month you Them last three days You do a three day fast Right. You eat one meal a day So you're pretty much doing Ramadan As the Muslims would call it You're doing Ramadan every day Every day Because you're only eating one meal every 16 hours You got an eating window, eight hour eating window, four hour eating window. You create the window, all right? Then the next hit, make sure that you do not eat conventionally grown food. It is poisoning you with pesticides and you can't get these new pesticides off by washing them. They're inside of the plant, especially the grain. The grain is the most poisonous thing America has because this is not paleo. If you had, if you could find grain that's in the paleo world, then you can eat it. But if it's not in the paleo world, do not eat it. I'm just telling you, if you wanted to take the devil off your planet, this for knowledge itself. You regular, if you if you in that world and you don't bear witness and you you could keep doing what you doing. That's what y'all do. Go to the grocery store and do you. You happy with it? I'm happy with it. But I'm saying knowledge itself. What's the law? Does he have the mark? What should we do with him? See, do you have the mark, or are you under the law? So if you want to be under the law, then you're going to deal with the split hoof and chew the cud. And you're going to want the animal not uh, under the colonizers, FDA and USDA and all that craziness. You don't want him under them. You want him under IHVH. That's what you want him under. Uh, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You want them under them kind of rules. You want them under EL. You want them under them kind of rules. If it ain't under them rules, you don't want to, you don't want to eat that, right? The cockatrice is not really lawful. The hopping birds are. But the cockatrice is so ingrained in that thing, I think you could clean him up. Elijah cleaned him up. I don't bear witness to him because he still walks up himself and he's an omnivore. And at the end of the day, you, I don't... You know, he's a bird. Can't fuck with birds. I ain't eating no bird. So, that's it on the birds. <laughs> it's too developed into the next level. But I know people that still eat the egg of the bird. Organic, this, that. I know them eating the bird because you can do so much with the bird, but you need the clean ones, the one that's free range, organic, um, haven't been tainted, ain't, they ain't torturing it, like that. I mean, the best one you could get is if you went and got you some of your own and grew them in your hand in your backyard and you chilled out with them. If that's, see, that goes back to you need land and you need to make moves. So that's why the father gave you a uh, trade of profession so we could make those kind of moves. You feel me on that, right? Because if you're really trying to take the devil off your planet, you will need some f- coins, right? You're going to need some coins. And like he said, oh, he said, what did he say? He said, um, 
And don't forget to tell them they got to quote their lessons. Don't be acting like you don't got to quote your degrees. You got to start off with. Can you quote King Now Cipher Wisdom, Lord Equality, Divine God Equality? You got that under your belt. Can you get that under there? You get those kind of little things under there that you think are important, but they're very important because they lead, they teach you how to take your thought and put it on paper because we speak the English language. You should master it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you should learn it the way we learned it. We took each letter of the alphabet and knew it by the number. You could not tell us a number and we didn't know the alphabet to it. Same way we did with the words that are part of the supreme mathematic. Cause those are words, knowledge, and it's connected to what? A number. Just like in alphabet, the word Allah is, collect- is connected to a number. Everything is connected to a number because mathematics is everything and everything is mathematics. So with that, that's the foundation. Now, that's why I teach it that way. So he said, why did, what's the purpose? The purpose is developing the mind and the brain and the convolutions on the brain. It works the same way the quotation does. It adds on to the what? Cipher. That's why you'll see the economic benefits. Of knowing and understanding that when you see F, you know it's equality also. And when you see I, I, God, he said the coach is I, God. Well, I was born. See, I, it, it all mixed, it's merged. It should merge with you. It should be like your physical composition. Yeah, the arm is an arm, but it's merged, baby. That's, it's all together. It's a reflex. You move with the reflex. You move like that. Uh, make it together. Make it one. Make it knowledge and the wisdom. Use that flow in the math and the alphabet. Make that flow like that. Knowledge and the wisdom. So the knowledge would be the math and the wisdom would be the alphabet because those are the words being spoken because that's the consonants and the vowels. You need to know that mathematical equation or your flow won't be right exactly. My name divine understanding born of law peace.